What's up YouTube, Jay Travellini here. Today I want to talk about uh, a video that's been a long time coming. I've been saying that I was going to put out. It's an update to my 5600 XT rig. Uh, I currently, uh, since my last video of it, did modify the BIOS and I'll show you which I, one I used. Um, I downloaded one from Red Panda Mining. Uh, he posted a link to it in his video. I used the same one. I have the same cards he used. Uh, they work great. I used Hive OS to modify it. Um, that's where I used to load the BIOS to the graphics cards. Uh, it was pretty simple to do. I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, and I'll show you where I saved them. I do save all the old BIOSes to my desktop. That way, if I do want to sell the cards, I can flash them back to stock uh, so that people can use them for gaming. But it is currently mining Ethereum and getting 250 mega hash a second. Um, so in a second, we'll go into the computer but I did decide to bio, uh, modify the BIOS and uh, load one onto it. Before I was having some issues with it with overclocking, but since I modified the BIOS and it's on Hive OS now, uh, it's been a lot more stable. It's on uh, Team Red Mining, uh, Team Red Miner. So every once in a while, like every couple days, it'll reboot the miner. I'll have one graphics card that crashes or like a driver crashes or something on it. I'm not exactly sure what happens, but the miner will reboot and it'll be good for another few days. But I mean, I've gone pretty much three or four weeks without touching it, uh, I would just notice the miner would just reboot a couple times. But other than that, it's been pretty stable and pretty rock solid. So I did go into Hive OS and manually update it today. So you will see like a gap in the, in the mining for that. But let's go inside the computer and see what's going on with it. So this is the 5600 XT rig. So if we go to I think if I go to my farm, we'll go to cards. This is where I modify the BIOS. You can see the V BIOS that's on them. So if you click on here, you can download your V BIOS. And I, I did this to download the one uh, to my computer. And then you can click select V BIOS. And since I have them all selected, I just picked the modified ROM. And then I was able to flash the card that way so I can always go back and add the old BIOS back to it but you can see they're all running the same one but as you saw on this one you can see these are all my stock BIOSes uh, and you can see it tells me which GPU I pulled it from so when I want to go back I can just select the GPU that it was select that BIOS and flash it back if I want to you know put it back to to stock so that I can sell them eventually. Uh, I don't plan on selling these anytime soon, so don't get me wrong with that. But I did download it to my desktop here. So if I go in here, I have a, a folder with all my BIOSes, and I don't think I labeled them, but it tells me which one I pulled it from. So I would know which one on the rig if I were to uh, change up the rig and lose it, like lose this somehow. Uh, I still have all the stock BIOSes that I can add to this. So that's that's how I did the, like flashed it. So going into it, we're pulling about 40, almost 42 mega hash a second. Now there are people that are saying I could up my memory a little bit. I have seen people run up to 930, uh, but I'm sitting around 90 watts and I'm pretty comfortable with that. Uh, overall, I'm sitting about 600 watts at the wall. Uh, it hovers around that a little bit if we add how much each card's doing plus what it idles at. Uh, these bores, the H81 Pro, from my experience, seem to idle a little more with a little more power usage than my Z1, Z, uh, Z270s. Uh, my Z270 boards were idling with like 40 to 50 watts. These were in like the 60 to 70 watt idle range. Could be the CPU that's in it. Uh, I'm not really sure. But it's sitting around 600 to 610 watts right now. Uh, I don't have a watt meter on it currently, but that's what it was sitting at. And you can see the gaps here. I did have a minor crash here. And uh, what happened today, for some reason, if I'm down there working sometimes, if I uh, bump it, it just like crashes. But I did update to the latest Hive OS here uh, just to see if that'll help keep it stable. Now I have also heard people run different 
driver is at 19.5 and it, it helps out uh, I haven't updated the driver at all but it's on team red so if we go in here and check the miner so it is currently mining so we're getting 250 mega hash here and uh, so 250 mega hash so it's doing pretty pretty good as far as mining uh, this was the most stable miner for me for a little while. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's made for uh, AMD cards or just because it's the best one for uh, this specific like BIOS that I have on it. I'm not sure, but Team Red, Team Red Miners has been doing pretty well for me. So, I mean, it's... With Phoenix Miner, if it crashed, it would just crash and I have to go manually reboot the rig or manually restart the miner. This one restarts on its own, which is nice because for some reason with Radeon cards and AMD cards, I, I, I always seem to struggle a little bit more than with my NVIDIA cards. My NVIDIA cards, like, you know, my, my 3060 Ti here, that's pulling 62 mega hash a second. Uh... You know, I kind of just said it. My P104 rig has just been insanely good for me. Uh, I barely touch it ever. Uh, but uh, this one I struggle with for weeks. If you guys watch the other videos, you see all the struggles. At first, it was definitely overclocking. I was definitely pushing it way harder than I should have been. Uh, so that was kind of my mistake. But now, now it's pretty stable. I've learned a lot along the way. And my temps here are pretty good. These are actually the lowest temps I've had yet. Uh, but also, I was just in my mining area. It's also 30 degrees outside, which makes my basement where my mining rigs are, it's sitting at like 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but let's check it out. So we're getting 250 mega hash a second, I said. So we're getting about 600. We're doing just about, we'll say 640 watts at the wall, just to be safe. I know I'm, I'm very... I, I always like to overdo it when I do my calculators just to be on the safe side. So let's calculate that. So if you look up here, Ethereum is tra uh, coins are trading at uh, 1,620, almost 1,628. So it, it's crazy right now. So this rig right now, uh, and you can see the date down here. It's 9.30 in the morning at on the 4th of February. Uh $33 a day just from this one rig. Uh, so I'm profiting, I'm spending just under, spending about $2 a day to power the rig at 15 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's a little conservative. I obviously don't pay that. So my profit right now, if I were to just unload these coins is $31 a day pretty much. We'll say we'll round it, 31.11. According to this calculator, they'll all be a little bit different. Uh, but you know it's still still a pretty good profit now I mean I, I don't just sell the coins I do hold on to them I don't plan on selling them just yet uh, I want to see what happens with Ethereum if it can get up even higher this year or if this is still just a mining craze where it's going to keep going up for a little bit and then just crash uh, so we'll see I don't want to jump the gun and just sell too quickly but that's my 5600 XT rig right now, you know, mining Ethereum, getting 250 mega hash a second, you can see. Uh, I, I, I'm not gonna play with these numbers, I'm just gonna let it go. Uh, I know some, like I said, some people do like 910 and get over 42 mega hash a second. Some people were pushing it almost up to memory of uh, 930 on Hive. Uh, I mean, a couple of these, you can see my VDD's a little bit different on a few because I was having issues with them crashing. Usually when I have a crash, it's it's this GPU here. Uh, it always says GPU one. Uh, it's like failure to respond or something. It's, it sounds like a driver crash to me. Uh, I never really dug too deep into it, but I did up this a little bit to give it a little bit more power, uh, even though it's still sitting around 90 watts. These were actually 90 to 91 watts uh, earlier today before I updated the uh, Hive OS. After that, it's it's running just under 90 watts. I've seen people get these down to 80 watts with even lower uh, voltage. They'll run these at like 750. But you know, I I don't want to mess with it too much because I have it so it's been running so well for me. 
I don't want to just jinx it and run it like have it completely unstable but you know that's that's my 5600 xt rig uh, you know thanks for checking this video out hopefully it helps some people um you know if you haven't if you do have 5600 xts and you're mining and you haven't modified the bias uh i'd recommend doing it uh it was pretty simple for me using hive os and it definitely provided a lot more performance for me uh, personally and help me stabilize my rig a little bit better but you know it's just been a rock solid rig since then it's been running really well and obviously you can see it's very profitable for me right now but thanks for checking this video out you know make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button you know comment it down the uh, in the comments below you know let me know what's going on with your rigs uh, what you guys are doing if you're running 5600 xts what overclocks and settings you're using and hash rates you're getting but, you know thanks for checking this out now stay tuned for more